Hi. What does a vegetarian eat for lunch? Guacamole. I love guacamole. And I hear it's really good for you. So what do you start with? A mocajete. You can get these in Costco now. Imagine. So we start out with a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit of chopped onion. Not that much. Put it in the mocajete. And some garlic. Smash it. Another one. If you like garlic. If you don't, use more onion. <laughs> So a couple of teeth of garlic and that for the compost. Chop it up. Doesn't have to be really fine. And put it in on top of the onion. Jalapenos. I'm using two. The fresh ones, of course. Don't use the pickled ones. What I do is take that inner seed part, cut it out, and the membrane. The membrane and the seeds are really hot. And the flesh is hot enough. So if you want to leave the seeds in, I don't know. Go ahead. Then I chop it up long. Doesn't, again, doesn't have to be real fine. Then them in long strips. And then cut across the strips into little cubes. Well, or not so little cubes. And put those in. And then, a little bit of salt. Sea salt, pepper, to taste. Then you take this thing and you mash it all up into kind of a chunky paste, kind of a green. You want to get it good and mashed up because. Because nobody wants to have big bits of jalapeno in a bite. Well, maybe you do. I'd rather have the hot kind of distributed evenly through the mocajete. There. Kind of a greenish pulpy, mashed up mess. Then, avocado, ripe. When you press on it, it just kind of goes in. It's, you'll know if it's ripe. If you cut into it and it's not ripe, you'll know. And score it, all, or cut it actually, all the way around in a circle, down to the seed, all the way around. Twist. There's the seed, pack it, twist it, and the seed comes out. Then take a spoon, not too small, not too big, and go inside the, the peel and scoop around, and you get, well, most of the green. A little bit green left in there. And do that to the other side. Just inside the peel, scoop around, there you go, one big lump, and there's some extra in here. You take that out, scrape it out, put that in. Then take the spoon and kind of rough chop up the avocado. Keep the spoon. 
then mash up. Don't mash this one too much. You don't want to make it into a fluffy goo. You want it to have some chunks of avocado left. If I were making this for other people, I wouldn't scrape it with my finger. <laughs> and kind of get that all mixed in a little bit with the peppers and the onions. Lemon. Sliced in half. And the trick for seeds it's called a citrus reamer. And then all the juice and the pulp and the seeds all get reamed out into this strainer. Then you take the other half and do the same thing. It all goes down into the strainer. Then you have a little bit of pulp and all the seeds inside the strainer. Push it with your fingers to get the juice out. A little bit of the pulp comes through, but you don't get the seeds. Then, all you have is lemon juice and you pour it in. <sighs> Stir it a little bit, get the, the lemon juice kind of mixed in a little to start. Then take tomatoes. I like to use plum tomatoes because they don't have a lot of juice. Beef steak and other kinds of tomatoes are a lot of water and you end up just with all the water oozing out. With plum tomatoes, it's a lot of flesh. Yes, I leave the seeds in. Some people would take the seeds out, but then I chop it up into not too small. I mean, I like chunky guacamole, not too gooey. When you buy guacamole in the store that was made a week or so before you, you eat it, they usually um, not only pulverize everything into kind of a mayonnaise paste, sometimes they add things, uh, who knows what they put in it, to, to keep it nice and green. I don't think avocados were meant to be sliced and then put into something for a week before you eat it. So yes, they will change color. So I'd rather make it fresh. It really hasn't taken me very long. Mix in the tomatoes. Coat them kind of, just so that everything gets mixed together and holds together. And uh, you can pick up everything at once. And I love chips, tortilla chips. But again, I, I don't need another excuse to eat tortilla chips. So I take, one of my favorite things to take is Belgian endive. Cut off the end and you can peel off these leaves. Sometimes a little easier than not. And you get a leaf and you can scoop into the leaf. Perfect. Mmm. And I hear it's good for your skin too. But you can serve it right in this mocajete. So enjoy your avocados. Enjoy your guacamole for lunch.